Hello everyone, I'm Christian Negulescu. Welcome to another episode of Learn New iPad in 5 Minutes. Today we'll talk about how to add um, columns and uh, rows in Excel. So the idea is like this, uh, when you insert a column here or here or a row here, it's simple with Excel, but let's see how we do this with UiPath. So if we want to, in, uh, to insert a simple column or row, it's simple basically in UiPath. You have some function, you have a dedicated function for the uh, um, for Excel, where you are able to insert a column, and you will say the position of the column, and you will see the uh, and you insert a row or a number of rows, and you say the position of the of the row. Yeah. So you have insert, delete the column. This one. So if you run it, for example, it's on the Excel number two. I don't have anything here. I will say run and uh, this will insert my uh, column and so on. But I don't want an empty stuff and I want something else. So I don't want um, this stuff. This is for Excel. But what I want to do is um, um, to have this one to read as a data table and insert a column with data inside. Yeah, this, so that's the, the idea. So for example, we take a look here. This is my uh, my uh, my start position. So from, for, for, from this Excel, I, st I start the, the algorithm. And here I insert here two columns. You see, after day two, one, and after day two, that this will be the result. And the second um, example will be to insert this row here. And to do this stuff, let's see what is inside of the code. So inside of the code, to be able to do this, insert in, on an insert column, you will have this one. We'll say Excel application scope. We we'll read the uh, the data table. Then we'll have the data table, and we'll say add column. When you say add column on a data table, he will add the column on the end of the data table. Now you have to move the column here. So to be able to move the column, you have here and uh, uh, you will use the invoke method and we'll use a procedure from uh, from VB, uh, Visual Basic .net. So basically you will go and you will say that you want to target the last column because like I said, I'll add column, we'll add the column here on the last position. Yeah, and I want to move this uh, column. So I'll set set ordin ordinal. So when I say set ordinal, three. So that means the, he will, the system will add the column here and he will move it here. And we'll say after date one, this will be the, the column after date one. And the second one will be column after day two. Yeah. Now, when you, uh, uh, when you add the column here, uh, it's better to take a look the name of the column. It's after day two in this case. And when you add the column, uh, it's better to have also a default value. Yeah. And uh, when you analyze the data, uh, you will just modify this data, but it's better to have default default. Because we talk about the uh, dates, uh, he will say new date, uh, 1st of January, 2020, yeah? And then if I want to populate something and make, uh, and in my case, I will make, um, uh, so I will add the data on this, uh, I will add these columns, and then I will make, um, uh, I put values, uh, based on the rela relation with other columns. So that's the idea, that's the difference between, this approach where I just add an empty column. Here I have a data table and I will add data and I will modify the data. So based on, on, on that stuff, I have the default value for the column and I will put here some conditions. So I'll make a for each on the data table one. And I will say, if the current row is higher than the 1st uh, of August, 2021, then copy the date. If the, uh, the date for it's higher than the first of May 2020. Uh, uh, then uh, do other stuff. Do an, uh, add three months, three months to to this one. Yeah. So in this and then uh, the result, I will uh, write it on the range uh, five. Yeah. So let's uh, uh, let's delete this one, and I will I will show you the uh, the system running. So that's the idea. It's to add a column on a position that you have and you add it with the date using them also to uh, to create um, a new data, uh, data from that data table that you have. Yeah, so if you see here that uh, uh, he add these two columns with add the first date and add the second date. And um, you see that I have uh, values that are put there based on the a function that I put on that if so take from data from date one and take from data from day two. Then if you want to add a row, so for example here, if I want to add a row here in the middle of nowhere, I will do the same procedure using some um, uh, vb.net um, uh, functions. So basically here I will read the data table, I will say add row on the data table, I will put here on the, uh, the, the row the array with the data. And then uh, the idea is like this, I have to save this row and I will um, 
I will copy this row on the on my so I have a data row uh, da a da a data row uh, system. And on this data row variable, I will remove the last because when you add a row by default, he will remove he will add to the to the last um, uh, uh, file to the last line. And then I will say insert row at position. So I will say insert row at position six, for example. So I will say this data row on row four, and uh, this will insert the row exactly on that one. So if you take a look here, I have on the row four because this is zero, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So this is the row where it's insert. So that's the that's the idea. That's the logic how to insert um, uh, row and columns with different data inside of uh, Excel file. As usual, if you like my movies, please subscribe to my channel, comment to my movies, and tell me what else you want to see on my uh, movies. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye bye.